have a look at this paragraph. It's bacon ipsum except for the two URLs. URLs should not, if you can avoid it, wrap to the next line. And if they do, it definitely should not be at the dot com bit. Let's fix that. If you have an occasional item that you want to not wrap, this can be a name, it can be a URL, it can be whatever. The easiest way to do that is to open the character panel. Type in tables, character panel. Move that off to the side here. And then from the flyout menu, choose no break at the bottom. It will now mark that highlighted text as never breaking. It won't hyphenate. It won't break across lines. If you do that with something that's far too long, for example, if I highlight all of this and choose no break, it's going to overset the whole line because it simply can't fit the line in there. This is not a guideline to InDesign. It's not like hyphenation exceptions. This is a hard rule. Do not break this. So InDesign's only choice when it can't fit that no break line is to overset. So there you go. Now I'm going to hit Command Z and undo that. And if you're lucky enough to be able to have a character style set for things that you want to no break, such as, let me undo that manual no break again, such as these URLs, if I go to Window, Styles, Character Styles, you can see that these URLs have the URL character style assigned to them. So then we can set that entire style, every instance of that text, if we double click it and go to basic character formats, we can set them to never break by turning this on. Click OK. And now both of those phrases, in this case, both URLs, across lines. Again, you want to make sure that it's not a really long URL because then it will become overset.